Ah, good morning everybody. Davy G here from Davy G Loss, Kiora from New Zealand. Well, update at the moment is uh, my extension I'm building to the loft for the cockbirds. Here we have it so far. It was actually a box that was uh, going to be thrown out by a timber merchant down the road. I said to him, should I have that? So I did. <laughs> It's, uh, I'm going to extend it a bit more at the back. It's not really deep enough. So I'll extend it a bit more at the back here to the end of the other loft. So uh, a bit more room. We've got the, that's the entranceway here. Got a nice big door. Open up. So, yeah. Put some perches in. And away we go. Uh, having far too many eggs possibly due to the chicken pellets that I've been feeding uh, I've been told to buy some pulle um, pulle uh, growth pellets for the pulle chickens and uh, apparently it's got less less of something that's going to make them lay eggs Anyway, well, um, let the birds out. We had terrible weather. It's been absolutely pissing down the last few days. And, uh, everything's very, very soggy. As you can see, did the lawn yesterday, but I still got a shitload to do over here. There's a lot, lot to be done. Anyhow. Get these birds out for a fly before it starts pouring again. Um, yeah, mates, come on. There he is. They love flying around. Come on, boys and girls. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get them to range. Uh, it's difficult because I've had these birds <laughs> ungoverned, really. I haven't been training them at all um, for a couple of years. So it's retraining them. And uh, they've seemed that they seem to like the farmers maize fields across the road there to the east it's probably about i don't know 10 miles away well anyway here's an update on my loft inside here it's very dry i don't have very much water there is some droppings around but it's basically dry as i do a bit of scraping here and there i put another uh perch unit up here i'm going to I'm going to um, section it off for the different uh, for separate birds, and same as down the bottom here. But the, this is going to be the hen, hens and young young birds loft after I get the uh, cock birds in here into this loft here. Um, so I have a bit more control on what's going on. Anyway, uh, I said I was going to do a video on the birds. I I attempted the other day, but uh, it was too late in the afternoon. But I will get some video of the birds. Um, I'll show you what the some of the birds are like. Yeah, I've got two older cock birds, um, which I orig well originally bred 2015. 2017 they're only the only ones I've got with official rings on but um, one of the rings is actually older than the bird <laughs> so uh, yeah I put a I put a ring on him it's about I think it's a year old the the rings are a year older than the bird 
they're over there somewhere they're going around now most of them are down down the back they've turned around to the west anyway as we go along this journey they're coming in again here they come yeah it's good I, I, I'm enjoying everybody's videos uh, there's some some hard case things going on in there you know, with the health of these birds and uh, but yes I'm getting some really nice mix soon it's a young bird racing mix it's got about nine seeds in it or seeds and grain and we'll uh, give them something a bit more to come back home to instead of bloody pellets well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm not scripted at all making these videos, as you can <laughs> as you can notice. But anyway, <laughs> I'll uh, keep up keep you up to date. Ugh, this bloody storage unit here is a disgusting bloody thing. It's, it's terribly bad. But uh, make a nice loft, though. I must admit, make a bloody good loft. It's not mine. Anyway, keep me up to date. This is David G's Loft signing off for the day. Be back a bit later. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one.